Tuesday, 7 February. Let's take a look at gold, euro, dollar, Dow Jones, and Bitcoin. With Bitcoin, not much to do. As you know, we're still waiting. Now, with gold, these are the astrales for yesterday. Pretty much a flat market, as you can see. The only, well, the only reasonable things that happened were close to the opening. The market picked up around here. The astro hours there, as you can see. These astro hours made the sell. The ones here at the bottom made the buy. Now, I said we'd be going up to sell. That's still what we want to do. Okay. There's a gap here in the market. And there's a gap there in the market. Now, gold had a swing. Has a swing day. You know when that is. So when the market pushes up towards those, we'll be looking to sell. Um, if it pulls back down into the astrals, you can go along with this one, okay? As long as we're down here first in astro hours, then you can go up into here, here, and even higher because we've got a gap here in the market, okay? So the market should fill in these gaps. If it doesn't, though, worst case scenario, we should end up here. Now, if you take a look at the daily, the LC, this one here, HCL1 is 1888. So 1888 is down here. So between the 1888 and the weekly period, we should head up here. Plus, we've got this 50, 1904. And that is pretty much 1904 is there. All right, so this zone here, we should, we should get filled out, okay, on the daily. And then which is also equal to the 1903 there, so it's only a buck difference there. On the weekly, okay, this is a big flop, as you can see, came all the way down here. If you slap a Fibonacci on there, okay, or there, it's pretty much that one there, okay. As you can see, it's a nice 62 level range there, okay. So what we should want to be doing is there's still room to come down so and this is pretty bearish as you can see on the weekly so going up into that zone there the 1903 1904 is on the cards so going into there is the way to go if it comes down go up if it goes up first okay and fills in these places here you'll be looking for a sell so be mindful okay euro dollar um, let's first put in the, I put it, okay, the Astro hours are here. So Euro dollar, right, same kind of mentality here, okay. Comes nicely into the targets, we still got room to go. If this is the end of wave five, we should have an A, B, C down, at least into here or even further, okay, because this is going to be like one, two, and then you've got one, two, three, four, five. This is wave four, complex structure. Wave five, three tips three taps okay push down so that'll be a b c down so where we want to go is 53 market buying right there that was one of the targets yesterday as you can see so where do we want to go into let's get rid of these on the daily what we'd like to do get up into the 53 1.0859 1 1.08 59 is there get rid of that weekly obviously we want to keep that on the weekly that level is going to be hcl1 1 1.0762 1.0762 is where you're going to have to cover your trade which is 0762 which is pretty much there okay so what to do with this you can buy and the low of tomorrow uh, low of yesterday if I turn this into a 15 minute chart, what you want to do is on the Astro hours, if we're down, you want to go up, okay, and you want to follow that through. We should have a flow day, so once the market turns, it should flow in that direction. Remember I said the same thing last week about these. I said once it finds direction, it should flow, okay same kind of thing is for today when it finds direction it should flow so what you want to do is stick your astro hours here okay so let's put 1350 I'll put these on the 
members area plus the discord channel just want to give you guys a heads up i'm going to move everything to substack soon probably in march just so that you guys know okay um let's take a look at that um 15 17. okay so that's gonna be 15 17 and then that's there Forty-five, fifteen. okay so that's the zone there so if we come down around here okay it should be okay hopefully that'll be the way to go Okay, so we'll come down, we'll go up in that situation. There were a few hours in the Asia session, but as you can imagine, at 6.30, 7.30 on our time scale, let me just check that for us. 7.30, no, 8.11, yeah. What's that? 6.30, so 7.30 for us. Seven thirty for us. Nope. Okay, that's on the helio. Not to worry. There we go. On forty five. Just bear with me. Okay, that's that. Fine, we don't need that at all. Okay, so if it pulls back down, you can push up in the New York session, not a problem. Um, you can add the others as well. Let's just do it. All right, so as you can see, not a lot of hours today, but just note to trade during those hours so you don't get messed up somewhere. Okay, match your price to your time now on the euro dollar like i said those are the levels there um 35 34 today 1.0668 06.48 so 06.68 48 there all right, so if it comes down into this zone, it's also doable. You can look for a swing from the lows as well because it's gonna be a target on the daily. On the weekly, you got 59, which is 1.0690. Down here. All right, so if the market comes down a little bit more, okay, that's fine. The weekly and the daily zone is here. So from here, picking up from the weekly support right there is not a bad idea okay nice and easy um, and on the price we've got 1.0698 1.0698 1.0643 yeah which you can manage here okay there we go let's take a look at US 30 once again stick your astro hours in there yesterday moved up right on the astro hours this was the zone there so um if you got in you should have been okay okay that was the zone market comes in astro hours right there from the lows going up okay remember we said we should be going up in order to kind of sell fill in the gaps and that's what the market did here um on the daily you can see we've got room there 57 34052 so 34052 is there on the daily which covers the gap here as well nicely so that's on the daily there on the support side of stuff I got 48 
33751. 33751 is about there. Okay, so resistance support on the daily. Let's get rid of this. Okay, um, then let's take a look at the weekly. Weekly resistance is going to be at 59 34478. 34478 is there. Another weekly spot is going to be the LCL one line 34788. 34788 here. And then I've got on the daily um, 57, which we marked in. And then it will be, I guess, this zone there the 64, 65, 33, 342. Thirty four three four two, which is in this zone here. Okay, so if it comes into that zone, that's also a resistance zone there in there. Okay, that's that. Uh, with Bitcoin, like I said, until we come down, we're not doing anything, we're waiting for the sixteen seventeen thousand zone for that one.